Turn them up. Check, check, check. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. God is the one that made the sun come up this morning. God is the one giving you breath in your lungs. Today we come to declare to you His righteousness. That God is good and in Him there's no darkness at all. Praise God we have... You know, Bible studies, we have outreach clubs out here today. Praise the Lord. God is surely moving. God is surely reaching out to you today through His people. Praise God. Today we come to bring to you the most important information, the most important education in your life, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ and what it means to you. Uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ is what you do with it will determine where you go, where you spend eternity after this life. The Bible says this life is but a vapor that appears for a moment and then it's gone. Sir, if God is, if God is dealing with you, it's because He wants you to be saved. God is not willing that any man should perish, but that all men should come to repentance. See, repentance is the way to salvation. The Bible says, For godly sorrow bringeth repentance unto salvation. So if, if you want to be saved, you've got to repent. Repentance is a gift of God. It's the goodness of God that leads us to repentance. It's His goodness that leads us to repentance. The fact that He's made a way out of hell fire for you through repentance. That means... Changing your mind, turning away from what is evil, turning away from what God said is evil, and turning to what He says is good. Turn from your sin. Sin leads to hell. The wages of sin is death. What is sin, you might say? Sin is transgression of God's holy law. That's what sin is. And the Bible says that the destruction of sinners and transgressors will be together. And those that forsake God will be consumed. You see, if you forsake God, if you ignore God, if you don't come to God through Jesus, the Son of God, you cannot have life. The Bible says that he that believes in Him is not condemned, but he that believes not is condemned already. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Today we come to declare to you the Son of God. The King of Kings. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. And he says, behold, I come quickly to give every man according to his work shall be. That's what he says. He's going to reward every man according as his work shall be. He said, but the dogs and the sorcerers and the idolaters and murderers, the Bible says they shall have their part in the lake of fire. And, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie shall have their part in the lake of fire, which burns with fire and brimstone. You see, most people don't want to tell you about this place called hell. But the Bible says that it's the fear of the Lord that men depart from evil. The Bible says that you should fear God. You should fear... This is what Jesus said. He said, he said fear God. Fear God who after kills your body has the power to cast your body and soul into hell. Jesus said, fear him. Fear my nuts, bitch. Fear God, because he's going to put you in hell and burn you forever, sinner. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Yes. The Bible says, judgment day is coming. It's appointed for man once to die, and then comes the judgment. Young man, you're going to stand before a holy God and give an account for your life. Yes. And fake Christianity won't get you there. 
You need to be a real born again Christian. And the Bible says, He that's born of God sinneth not. Follow the Bible. Follow the Word of God. Oh. Is that the Christians that put on that, that fake Christian music? Shame on the fake Christians at this campus. The Bible says to warn every man, warning every man in all wisdom, that we might present every man perfect in Christ. So we came to you to not to make you feel good in your sin. We came to warn you of the wrath of God. And the Bible says the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and un ungodliness and all unrighteousness of men. You see, the wrath of God is what we don't want you to get. The eternal wrath of God. The eternal wrath of God is coming for your life. God will send you to hell if you continue in sin. Oh, that's why it says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. You st students, the Bible says that you have to know the goodness and the severity of God. On those who fall, severity. But on you, goodness, if you continue in His goodness. Listen, you've got to continue in the faith. That means an obedient life. You've got to continue in the goodness of God. Otherwise, you too will be cut off. This, this university is under judgment. This nation is under judgment. Because we have departed from the living God with an evil heart of unbelief. You see, if you want to go to heaven, you've got to repent of your evil ways and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus came preaching, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. Uh, you're going to burn in hell if you don't repent. Shame on you. Whores will not inherit the kingdom of God. Whoremongers will not inherit the kingdom of God. You're looking at porn, God sees you, and the Bible says you're going to burn in hell for it. Unless you repent, you will all likewise perish in eternal hell fire. Jesus is your only hope. Jesus is the Lamb of God who came to take away the sin of the world. It's not through Allah. It's not through Buddha. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth and I am the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. So you're not going to get in another way. It's not Allah. It's not Muhammad. Muhammad married a five-year-old. He was a pedophile. Jesus Christ is the only Savior given among men by which we must be saved. Jesus is King. He's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. No one comes to the Father. No one gets to heaven but through the Jesus of the Bible. And he said, before Abraham was, I am. Before Abraham was, I am. You see, we have a lot of false Christianity going around on this campus. But Jesus said, not everybody who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall inherit the kingdom of God. But he that does the will of my Father are you doing the will of God? Otherwise, Jesus said you'll burn in hell. A lot of you are, the Bible says, a lot of you have become enemies of God by your wicked works. The Bible says, whosoever is born of God. See, you must be born again. Because whoever is born of God sinneth not. For he that is begotten of God keepeth himself. And that wicked one toucheth him not. You see... If you're continuing in sin, the Bible says you're storing up wrath. You're storing up wrath for yourself on the day of judgment. You might die this year. You might have to stand before God this year. And my friends, if you die in your sins, you'll burn in the devil's hell. If you're a man, be a man. Dress like a man. Act like a man. 
If you're a woman, if you're a woman, you should dress like a woman, act like a woman, and give God glory. Don't be, don't be a homo. Don't be a homosexual. The Bible says homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of God. You guys need a wake-up call. God's word will last forever. God's word will never pass away. Jesus said heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will endure forever. Christians, he loves you enough to send his son, but you got to love God by repenting if you want to go to heaven. Repent. Surrender your life to Christ. Repent. Yeah, that doesn't matter. you got to obey God. The Bible says this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. And His commandments are not grievous. So it doesn't matter if you go to church 24 hours a day. If you don't obey God, then you're going to hell. That's what true faith does. We're saved by grace through faith. Grace empowers you to obey God. Romans 1.5 says that God has given us grace for obedience to the faith. Yes, don't go to hell. Don't follow another Jesus. You know what Apostle Paul said? He said, if anybody comes to you preaching another Jesus than what I preach, let him be accursed. He said, even if I or an angel come to you preaching another gospel, let him be accursed. And Apostle Paul said, he said, I wrote this letter to you that I might know the proof of you, whether you be obedient in all things. You see, Jesus said, I will judge you in the last day. If you're looking at pornography, you're going to hellfire. Hellfire is your future if you're a porn watcher. But you can be forgiven. Oh, praise God, he shed his blood on the cross. Oh, it was a bloody cross, and God sent His Son to you. That you might be forgiven, that you might be washed in the blood of Jesus. That you might be changed by the Holy Spirit. That you might love what is good and hate what is evil, according to the Word of God. Amen. Yes, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. We're all going to be judged by the Word of God. Uh, Allah can't get you there. You need the Holy Word of God. You need Jesus on the inside. You need to be born again. Born again. If you're not born again, Jesus said you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Oh, do not harden your heart. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day to get right with the Holy God. Amen. The best thing I ever did was surrender my life to Jesus Christ. And you can have Jesus on the inside. If you follow Him, you will have eternal life. If you believe in Him, you will have eternal life. Uh, the Bible says, by faith Abraham obeyed God. And it was, counted, it was accounted to him for righteousness. Yes, if you believe God, then you will obey Him. Jesus Christ is the author of eternal salvation to all those who obey Him. No obedience, no heaven for you. Only hellfire. Eternal hellfire to punish you for your homosexuality. To punish you for your porn watching. To punish you. Uh, don't be punished. Don't be punished, man. The wrath of God's abiding upon you. You got a big X on your back. The day of judgment is coming. The day of judgment is coming. We came to, to tell you the way out of judgment. That you don't have to go to hell with this world. You don't have to go to hell with the sinners. You can become a saint through the blood of Jesus. You can serve God. Know God. Love God. Obey God. That's what this is about. Knowing your creator. But Jesus has to come and tell you you're an enemy of God the way that you are. Yes, the Bible says in Psalms 5.5 5, that God hates all workers of iniquity. You see, you're depressed because you're having sex out of marriage. God expected you to wait for your husband to have sex, but you're playing the whore. you got to get right with God. Ask God to forgive you. Ask God to change you. Quit dressing around, dressing like you're going to strip at a strip club tonight. 
Jesus can change you to where you don't want to be a whore. You don't want to act immodest. You don't want to act evil anymore. Jesus is the King of Kings. Hey, why don't you be a man? That's because you're uh, gay. The Bible says Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed as an example to all those who would afterward live ungodly. Do you know that the Bible says that? That Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed as an example to all those who would afterward live ungodly? If you're a homosexual, you can be forgiven if you cry out to God. If you repent, you can have eternal life. Jesus said in John, in uh, Luke 13, 3, that unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Are you going to repent? Are you going to go to heaven? That's what you got to ask yourself because your decisions will dictate your eternity. What you did with Jesus, what you did with this gospel. Amen. You got to bow the knee. You're going to bow the knee either in this life or the next life because Jesus is Lord. He said, Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Oh, God the Father has exalted Jesus the Son to his own right hand to be judge over every person. That's why we, we say that God commands all men everywhere to repent because he has ordained a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness. You have a court day with God. You have a court day with God. You're going to be judged by a holy God. And Jesus said most people will go to hell. Jesus said most people are going to be proud. Most people are going to burn in hell. The Bible says the way to heaven is straight and narrow and few people find it. Jesus said blessed are you who are not offended in me. Jesus came to give you the truth. But he's going to do that to you on judgment day sinner. He's going to say thumbs down right in the hell. Because you didn't submit to the Word of God. You didn't submit to Jesus. You didn't obey Him. That's why it'll cost you your eternal soul. A lot of you think you can live however you want. There's no consequence. Yes, there's consequences to your actions. There's consequences to your actions. Eternal judgment when you die. You can follow Jesus. Follow Jesus. Follow the King. He gave you a, a good King James Version Bible so that you could know Him. You could, you could actually know God. You could be receive the you could receive the love of God, the mercy of God. God gives grace to the humble, but to the proud, He rejects. You see, the, the American church is trying to be accepted by the world. He said that the world hated me it will also hate you also he said because you are not of the world but I chose you out of the world therefore the world will hate you you see we've been chosen out of the world to serve God and if you want to go to heaven you got to serve God you got to obey him he'll give you grace but you got to submit or you will burn you will receive the wrath and the punishment that you deserve the only grace the only forgiveness is found if you stop doing what is evil and turn your will over to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. It's time to be a real man. It's time to be a real man, not a deceiver, not a pervert, not a homosexual. It's time to be a real man. The Bible says, the Bible says he, it says adulterers and adulteresses. Do you not know? That friendship with the world is enmity with God. Therefore, whoever makes himself a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. You can't have Jesus and your sin. you got to choose to either Jesus or your sin, but you can't have both. The Bible says you are a slave to whomever you obey. Either obedience unto righteousness or sin unto death. You have to believe the gospel. Believe Jesus Christ. Believe the word of God.
The Bible says, Come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. You see, John the Baptist came preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Yes, you've got to repent or you'll burn. Wicked woman, repent. Jesus Christ is coming back in flaming fire to take vengeance on all those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. The Son of Man, Jesus Christ, will send forth His angels and they shall gather out of His kingdom all things that sin in them which do iniquity and they shall be cast into a furnace of fire. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. But the righteous shall shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their Father. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Amen. If you want to go to heaven, if you don't want to go into the furnace of fire, you have to believe in Jesus, the Son of God. He's the only mediator between man and God. He's the only way to heaven through the blood He spilled on the cross that you might be forgiven of your pornography. You might be forgiven of your lust, of your evil ways. Oh, turn from your evil ways and live, saith the Lord. For why should you die, saith the Lord of hosts? Why will you die? Why will you go to hell? When I sent you my son, when I sent you a way out, I sent you an atonement for your soul. Jesus was shed on the cross. His blood is the only atonement for sin. Without Jesus, you've got to pay for your own sin. Oh, God sees what you're doing. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. So God sees what you're doing. You're not good enough to get to heaven. You need the blood of Jesus. He died for your sins. That God might justly forgive you. If God forgave you of your sin without a blood sacrifice, He would be an unjust God. No, He's going to look upon the blood and pardon you if you repent and believe the gospel. This is the best news. That you don't have to burn in hell. Jesus is good news. That he came to seek and save that which is lost. He came to wake you up. Awaken unto righteousness and sin not. For I speak this to your shame. For most of you do not have the knowledge of God. You're continuing in sin because you don't see the freight train of God's judgment that's coming down the track and it will consume you. It will destroy you eternally unless you receive the blood of Jesus. Unless you become a born again, Bible believing, Bible obeying, born again Christian. Yes, God doesn't bend their bow. You have to come into His kingdom, His way. You're not good enough on your own. The Bible says our righteousness is, that, is as filthy rags in the sight of a holy God. Only through Jesus Christ can you receive forgiveness. Only through Jesus Christ can you go to heaven. See, a lot of you are going to hell. But the Bible says hold back those stumbling towards the slaughter. We're trying to hold you back because you're stumbling into hell. And the Bible says, though you join hand in hand, you will not go unpunished. Oh, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, sinner, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Fear God and keep His commandments, for God will bring every work into judgment including every secret thing if you're looking at porn you're not a christian i'm telling you this right now if you're looking at women with lust you're not a christian the bible says do not be deceived the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of god 
It says neither fornicators. This is Bible scriptures here. Neither fornicators, idolaters, adulterers, homosexuals, sodomites, thieves, covetous, drunkards, revilers, extortioners shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible says you're not going to inherit the kingdom of God if you continue to do what is evil in the sight of God. The eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good. God is, God is keeping track. You're storing up wrath for the day of wrath. You are going to receive God's wrath because you're a porn watcher. Because you're a pervert. Repent. Repent. Get born again. The Bible says that he that is born of God sinneth not, for he cannot sin because he is born of God. The Bible says he that... No, you're good. Yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I uh -huh. my amplifier away. Oh, no. Oh, it's on that seat over there. See that seat? Yeah, I'm going to get it. It says this, in God there is no darkness, only light. It says if we say that we have fellowship with Him, God, and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. Amen. Oh, you need to be cleansed by the blood of Christ. Amen. He'll cleanse you from your filthy mind, from your filthy porn. He'll cast those devils out of you where you won't want to be a pervert anymore. Oh, you'll be an honorable man of God, an honorable woman of God. Not a whore, not dressing like a whore so everybody can lust after you. Come out of your evil ways. Come out of your evil ways before your sin is your ruin. The Bible says, be sure. Be sure that your sin will find you out. Be sure that your sin will find you out. You're not getting away with it. Judgment day is coming. Homosexuals are going to burn in hell. Unless they repent. Unless they repent. Repent and have life. Yeah. Repent of your evil sexual deviousness. Your evil porn watching. Because God, God, God is going to uphold His law. God is going to damn the wicked with unquenchable fire. Yes. Jesus came that you might have life, but you have no life in your sin. The devil, the devil came to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus came that you might have life and life more abundantly. Choose life. Oh, don't choose. Don't choose homosex. Don't choose homosex. Yes. What did the prostitute do, sinner? He said, go and sin no more. And the prostitute went and became a Christian. We are telling you to stop being a prostitute like Jesus. Stop. Stop being a whore. That's what Jesus said. He said, whore. A whore is a great ditch. He said, adulterers. And when you pray, do not stop. Yes, what does pray mean, young lady? What does pray mean? What does pray mean? What, what does pray mean? What does pray? This is called preaching. Welcome, welcome to Christianity. You got to repent. You got to repent. Repent. You, you need to go pray. You need to go pray and ask God to forgive you. Repent. Repent. Repent of your evil doings. And be converted that your sin may be blotted out. That times of refreshing. I want you to have times of refreshing. 
them. Oh, because it's heaven and hell when you die. Okay, and we have choose life. You you gotta live according to God's way. You gotta live according to the will of God. The Bible says, "Do not love the world or the things in the world." If anyone loved the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and pride of life are not of the Father, but are of the world. And the world is passing away in the lust thereof. But he that does the will of God will abide forever. You see, you've got to do the will of God. God will give you his spirit. God will give you mercy. God will give you mercy if you believe the gospel. If you repent of your evil ways and turn to the only Savior, Jesus will hear your prayer. Jesus can pardon your sin. Jesus can give you a hope and a future. But no hope in your sin. No future in your sin. Only hell fire awaits you. The wrath of God is coming against all workers of iniquity. Yes, you're an enemy of God in your wicked works. But Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the hope. Jesus died for all of you. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Yes, you got to stop sinning. Sinning. Sin leads to hell. Sin leads to hell. The Bible says no homosexual will inherit the kingdom of God. For God so loved the world. Oh, receive the love and mercy of God. Because if you die, if you die in your sin, you will perish in eternal flames of hell. There is no purgatory. There is no second chances. Once you die in your sin, you're trapped in hell forever. But if you're trapped we are in the fires of hell, tormented. We are born the Bible says the smoke of their torment the smoke of their torment arises forever and ever and, the, and they will be punished in the presence of the lamb and of the holy angels the bible says without holiness no man will see the lord if you want to ask if you want to ask questions i got to preach but these guys can answer your questions if you have true questions i fear you're so misguided yes the Bible is the Word of God. The Bible is the hope. Oh, he'll get to. You're miserable. You need medication. You need. You need porn. You need alcohol. You need drugs. Because you don't have the giver of life. Jesus gave you life. But you're rejecting life for your sin. I was born and baptized. The Bible says that we must offer up our body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Oh, you got to lay down your will. Not my will, but your will be done, Father. That's what you got to do. Otherwise, you will not make it in. Jesus said, he said, if you want to come after me, you've got to deny yourself. You got to deny yourself. Pick up your cross and follow me daily. Jesus said, if you want to come after me, if you want to go to heaven, you got to deny yourself. Pick up your cross and follow me daily. That's the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus is the boss. Jesus, quit being a homosexual and be a child of God. Quit being a pervert, porn watcher, and be a child of God. Receive mercy hey, while you still can. You. God's convicting you because he don't want you to perish in hell. Most perverted God doesn't want you to perish in hell. You don't touch. You don't touch. Don't you fucking touch me. Get it back. Get back. Don't touch Get back. Me. Do not touch Get back. Me. Get off your fucking get, back. Get, get off my property. Go. Go. Fascist. Fuck fascist. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm good. I am a thief. Here, you can do this. Check, check.
Check, check. How's that work? Check, check. Where's Hey, Aaron! Aaron! Turn this thing on. Hey, I deeply apologize, sir. I forgive you. Um, but don't, don't you... Right now, God bless you. It's turned up. Um, check, check. When you have a mic, but not without. Testing, testing. Man, I think she broke it. I would, I would love to have a discussion. What happened? How much sexual? Oh. Your views on Christianity are so interesting. Check, check, <laughs> check, check, check. What check, check, check. check. William, nice so listen, we can't get caught up in emotion. Repent of your hate toward gay. We cannot get caught up in emotion. Repent of your Attacking hate. the preacher is not going to help you. Attacking the preacher will not help you. You cannot shut God up. You need the preaching because without the preaching, a lot of you will burn in hell. Sir, sir, I am against what judgment day is coming. Do you not see what day we live in? Do you not see how evil it is out here? We have homosexuals attacking the preacher. We have we have pervert women grabbing their breasts. This is an evil and a sinful generation. And I'm telling you, I used to go to this campus. I used to sell drugs. I used to be wicked like a lot of you. But Jesus Christ saved my soul. And Jesus Christ is the only hope for humanity. I want you to be saved. I want you to be delivered from your demons, from your sexual perversion. Jesus Jesus is your only hope. What about yours? And the homosexual supporters, you don't love God. You love sin. Hey, have mercy. Have peace. The Bible says the kingdom of God is not in meat or in drink, but in peace, righteousness, and joy in the Holy Ghost. God gives the Holy Spirit to those who obey Him. That's why Jesus died on the cross. That you might become a new person. That you might be forgiven. That you might be set free from your sexual evil ways. Yes, you can't justify your evil. You'll never be, you'll never be saved justifying your evil ways. God is never going to change His mind. I am the Lord thy God and I change not. God's word is settled in heaven. He's given you a Bible. You are without excuse. What's the shortest God is here to convict you of your sin so that you would repent. Repenting is not only saying I'm sorry. Repenting is saying I'm sorry. But you've got to confess and forsake your sin. The Bible says he that covers his sin shall not prosper. The Bible also but he that confesses and, and forsakes anything. his way shall have mercy. Oh, you have to confess and forsake your evil way for the blood of Jesus to apply to your life. Cry out to God. You don't believe in God. You don't believe in Jesus if you don't believe his teachings. If you don't obey his teachings, you don't believe in Jesus Christ. Do you eat pork? Oh, don't come against the word of God. Are you wearing? Don't be wise in your own eyes. What about your? But fear God. What about your? And depart from evil. The Bible says not to wear jewelry. Fear God, sinners. And not to eat pork. Come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Are you going to receive mercy from God? Do you know what? A lot of you, your parents were bad examples. Do you know what the Greek? A lot of you had bad examples of what it looks like to be a child of God. But true children of God believe and obey the Bible. That's what they do. What makes you a Christian is if you believe in the King James Version Bible. That's what makes you a Christian. The Bible says all Scripture was given by inspiration of God and was profitable for doctrine Let's not forget the Easter. For reproof. Let's not forget for correction. For instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect. The, the scripture is able to make you perfect. The uh, look, she has a cross on. A lot of you think you're Christians. Holy but you dress immodestly. The Bible says a godly woman will dress modestly. Yes, you guys have to be holy if you are going to be a child of God. And you can't be holy without the Holy Spirit. 
You can't be holy without God making you born again. The Bible says if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things become new. And now all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ, and hath given us the ministry of reconciliation. God will put a fire in you for righteousness. Jesus Christ loves righteousness, and he hates iniquity. Jesus hate sin. And old he throws the sin and the sinner into hellfire. No. Unless you repent. The unless you repent, no. you will all likewise perish according to Jesus Christ. Luke 13, 3. Luke 13, 3. Yes, we have free Bibles. I got saved reading a Bible. God spoke to me audibly in jail. And he told me to fight. And in this wicked world, the Bible says, fight the good fight of faith. And lay hold on eternal life. You're going to fight. We are in an evil day. And a lot of you are going to go to hell. Most of you are going to go to hell fire. Unless you fight. The Bible says fight the good fight of faith. And lay hold on eternal life. The Bible says first remove the plank out of your own eye. And then you'll see clearly to remove the speck in your brother's eye. You got to live for Jesus. And then you can preach the Bible and serve God in faithfulness, in truth, and in true righteous judgment. And is that what you're that's why that's why you need to be trained in the word of truth. Trained in the word of righteousness. The gospel through love. Yes, the gospel. The Bible says, I am not ashamed of this gospel. Right. For it is the power of God unto salvation to all those who believe. First to the Jew and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness oh, of God revealed Do you from speak? faith to faith. Do you speak Greek? For the just shall live by or faith. Do you speak Aramaic? You're not living by faith if you're looking at porn every week. You're not living by faith if you're agreeing that homosexuality is okay. Jesus is going to call you into account. Jesus is going to judge you. That's why the Bible says fear God and keep his commandments. Jesus said keep, if you love me, keep my commandments. We're warning you of the judgment. We're giving you God's judgment that you might escape the final judgment. Because Jesus said you will be judged by my word in the last day. I forgive you. God bless you. You will be judged by Jesus Christ. He said by my word in the last day. So this Bible that you hate, this Bible that your professors blaspheme will judge you when you die. Yes, the King James Version Bible is perfect. No, it's your only hope. Why would you think your only hope is the King James Version Bible? Jesus is King. Jesus is Lord. Jesus, if Jesus says that it's evil, then it's evil. If Jesus, Jesus says, I am the way. That's what Jesus said. He said, I am the truth. And I am the life. What are you doing? And no one comes to the Father but by me. No one comes to the Father but by me. You got to go. Do you know which way to go? Jesus. He's the example. Jesus is the way. Follow him. Follow Jesus. Quit having sex. You have no Quit idea having sex about. outside of marriage. And you have, That's not following Jesus. And did you ever do it? The Bible says. Confess your sin. The Bible says, says this. Confess mine. Confess yours. Hold on. Don't worry. If he That's doesn't do it, you don't do it. Do something. Jesus is the example. Talk. Jesus is the way. Talk. You want peace? No there is no peace action. for the wicked. Go feed the homeless. There's only peace Go for the righteous. Go that believe charity. and obey God. This is that surrender their will and their whole life to God. Go into communities and Cry out to God. Helping. Get alone Help with God. Fucking house. Get alone with God. Cry Jesus out to God. What a carpenter. To forgive Go you and change you. Go feed the the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, you can be forgiven. Through the blood of Jesus, you can be forgiven. 
Or you can follow the, the voice of the world. You can follow the voice of Satan. You know so yes. much less than you think. You Jesus know. is I what I know. So much less. He's holy. You don't know him. He's very righteous. Well, clearly. You don't yeah, know. The Bible him says the clearly. effeminate will not inherit the kingdom of God. Be effeminate. Be effeminate. You can't be an effeminate man. God made you to be a manly man. Yes. If you're a man, you lead your family in righteousness. Bitch. Yes. yes. Be feminine. a man. Don't be a feminine, feminine, what about the eunuch? sissy boy. Well, what about the eunuch? Be a child what about the eunuch? of God. What about the eunuch? Yes. What about the eunuch? Who Jesus is the king. What about the eunuch? Jesus what about the eunuch? is the one who would judge you. Being a eunuch doesn't make you a man. Having sex with many women doesn't make you a man. A eunuch is a man but What a makes you a man is standing up for righteousness. Standing up for what the Bible says. That's what it means to be a man. To lead your wife in righteousness. To lead your family in righteousness. So you don't end up like this woman. Me? That you don't end up... That you don't end up like a Catholic. Catholics are drunkards and perverts for the most part. Catholics believe the wicked Pope that says it's okay to be gay when the Bible clearly condemns it. Industry preachers, you start yes. Shame on you. She just, she just poured coffee. See, you, you guys are intolerant. You guys are intolerant. Of Christianity. I'm not You're intolerant of Christianity. Just pour, pour coffee on the Bible. It's on. You can't speak it. So God, see if you can. Uh, How are we see, Explain the intolerance. See, see if you can uh, salvage it. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, period. Yes, we don't. Love overall, right? We we don't he agree. Love overall. The Bible is the word of God. The Bible says God has made foolishness. The things of this world by the Bible, by the Word of God. That the Word of God is foolishness to those who are perishing. You see, the Word of God is the only thing that can save you. you commit every day That's how you're born again. We are born again through the Word. We have to ask for new mercies every day. The Bible says if we willfully sin, Willfully. If we willfully sin at the receiving the knowledge of, of truth, it's a there remain of the no more sacrifice for sin. We were all born yes, into I love sin. you. I want you to we be were saved. All born into you sin. hate me, but I love you. Why I know. Do you think I hate you. I know you're ignorant. Why do you think I'm I know ignorant? you don't know the word? The I'm ignorant. Jesus is the King. Oh, yes. Jesus. I'm is the Lord of Lords now, wait a minute. Now, wait and a King minute. of Kings. Wait a minute. Jesus. The the He's Catholic the one Church. that died for your you sins. Denied the, of so many the LGBT Christians. are hateful people. And you think that you're the LGBT ignorant? hate Christianity because they serve the devil. The devil came to kill, steal, and destroy. And, I and the devil has deceived you ignorance. into thinking that it's okay to be gay. When God says it is an abomination, no. it is an abomination. Says that it's an abomination, and if you follow, the Bible says it's an abomination for old men to lay with little boys. If you if translate, you if you translate the Greek, hell. if you translate the Greek, if you follow the LGBT, you translate the Greek, you will go to hell. You need Jesus on the inside. You need to be made new. If you knew the he words you were you. preaching, you he wouldn't will be forgive preaching you. them at all. He if you knew the real meaning of the book you you're preaching from, you wouldn't be preaching yes. at all. Because you, you, you don't know the oh, word. What they say? They say, you don't really know the word. And they, I'm sorry to say it, but you yes. really don't know it. Being a homo, being a homo, is not Christianity. You're a fucking Christian. Where's the lead at? This is bo this is blocking my freedom of speech. Every liar, every cheater. Oh my god, I love this. I made sure everyone thinks about today because this is the fruit of the LBGT. Hate. They hate what is good. Why does someone's sexuality have to do with your fucking life? Why does someone's 
homosexuality has to do. Can you guys please Ma'am, are you Oh, can they say go? Back up. Either down or this way. Wait, down, right? Down, yeah. Oh, here it is. Listen, this is America. Everybody has their freedom of speech. And I have freedom on your ass. Exactly. Everybody has their freedom of speech, but you got to respect other people's speech. You can preach your own. You can, you can, you can preach. You can preach what you believe. But we're going to preach the word of God. We're going to preach the way to heaven. You got to give him some space. Get out of here, Satan! Get out of here, Satan! So Jesus is the King of Glory. He is your Creator. The Bible says, in the beginning was the Word. That's Jesus. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. It says, nothing that was made was made without Him. So Jesus is God the Son. He, was, he has existed forever with the Father before the earth began. He is the one that we preach to you today, your Creator. You see, the devil, the devil, you know, demons get into people. You see, when you preach, those demons come to the surface. That's where conviction comes in. The Bible says when the Holy Ghost comes, He will convict the world of sin, righteousness, and judgment. That means God... God came to came here today to make you feel bad about your sin. God came to make you feel bad about your sin because He doesn't want you to die. You see, He doesn't want you to die. You see, that's that, that's what they believe. They don't believe in free speech. See, the Word of God's powerful. The devil don't want you to hear the Word of God. So these, these are demon-possessed people. These people are demon-possessed. They hate cops. They hate authority. They hate everything that is good. But listen, you can get off the road to hell. And you can get on the road to heaven. I want you to be safe. I love you. I love you. I love you. Jesus loves you. You can say I hate you, but I don't. I tell you the truth, because the only way you can go to heaven is through the truth. The Bible says that you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That's the only way. See, the reason why you do this is because you know your way is not right. You know you're screaming, you're screaming out for affirmation because you know what you're doing is evil. You know that what I'm saying is true. And the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God has come near to you today that you might not perish but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus came that you might have life, that you might have it more abundantly. But you want homosex. You want sexual sin. But you can't have Jesus and have sin. You have to choose this day whom you will serve. Choose heaven or hell. You will be judged by a holy God. The only way to escape is Jesus Christ. He died. He died on the cross. Jesus died on the cross that you might be saved. His blood was spilled so that you could be forgiven. The gospel is the only way to heaven. Jesus is the only way to heaven. Jesus, He's the only Jesus. name under heaven Jesus. by which we must be saved. Turn to Jesus. Turn from your evil ways. Turn from your evil ways and live. Turn from your pornography and live. Turn from your homosex 
and live. Turn from your pornography and live. Jesus can heal you. Jesus can forgive you. Jesus can set you free. Oh, Jesus can set you free. Jesus, he said this. He said, whoever sins is a slave of sin. And a slave will not abide in God's house forever. But he said, whom the son says free is free indeed. Cry out to Jesus. Cry out to Jesus. Don't be a mocker. Don't be a mocker. Don't go to hell with the mockers and the blasphemers. Don't go to hell with the mockers and the blasphemers. You call bitches. Jesus is the only one. Oh, yes. I'm here to tell you. He's the he's the prince of peace. You see, the Bible says there is no peace for the wicked. There is no peace for the wicked, says my God. But Jesus is the Prince of Peace. He will forgive you. That's why he died on the cross. But if you continue in sin, you are forfeiting the gift of eternal life. You receive the gift of eternal life by repenting of your sin and believing the gospel. The enemies of God are multiplying in these last days. If you want to be saved, Jesus said you will be persecuted. For you will be hated. You will be hated. You have to stand up for Jesus. You have to stand up for the truth of God's word. If you deny me before men, I will deny you before my Father in heaven. If you're a Christian and you don't stand up for the truth, you will be denied before God in heaven. I am not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of the Word of God. I'm not ashamed of the Word of God. For the Word of God is able to save your soul. Yes. Don't bow to me. Bow to Jesus Christ. You saved me. Bow to God the Son. Bow to the Son of God. Oh, it's all fun and games until you wake up in hell. It's all fun and games until you die and meet God. Yes, the Bible says the wrath of God abides upon the children of disobedience. This is what pornography will do to you. She says she loves pornography. It will make you a pervert. It will it will defile your soul. You will, it will defile your soul. So you choose heaven or hell. You choose Jesus. Or, see, look, if these people were happy, I am fucking happy. if they were happy, That's what? then they wouldn't be fighting against the truth. That's what? They're miserable, and that's why they fight against the truth. You work for the devil, and I work for God. You work for the devil, and I work for God. We go here. What are you doing here? God of the Bible is intolerant. The God of the Bible is intolerant. He says, if you want to come to my kingdom, you have to follow my law. Yes, you can't change the laws of heaven. You can't change the laws of heaven. And say it's okay to be a sinner. The Bible says you have to stop being a sinner and be born again and become a saint. Don't be a don't be a Catholic. Don't be a Catholic. Be a born again Christian. Get yourself a King James Bible. What makes your read it, believe it, and obey it? Ask God to forgive you and ask God to set you free. That's what happened to us. I was in jail. I was in jail because I used to I used to love getting drunk. I used to love Listen, I used to love sleeping with whores. But I went to jail. And guess what happened in jail? I was facing a felony and I was in big trouble with God. And I started somebody gave me a Bible. I started to read it and I felt convicted. God showed me that I was not a Christian. I was a hypocrite. And I was living in sin. And I cried out to God. 
I cried out to God for seven days. On the fifth day, I heard God's audible voice speak to me and tell me to fight. And that's what I'm here to say is that God is telling you if you want to go to heaven, you have to fight. Fight the good fight of faith and lay hold on eternal life. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. For the pulling down of strongholds, it says casting down everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Taking into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Ready to revenge all disobedience once our obedience is fulfilled. So that's what we're saying is that these are, these are spiritual weapons that we're using. Prayer, fasting, and the Word of God. This is called the sword of the Spirit. And it's meant to correct you. It's meant to cut down the lies of the devil in your life so that you can go on with Jesus. The Bible will cut down every lie of the devil in your life so that you can go on with Jesus. That's why people get killed for this book in other countries. Because this book is why America was blessed. This book is why God blessed America. But now we have departed from God. And now we are cursed as a nation. You are, you are cursed in your sin. The Bible says the curse of the Lord is on the habitation of the wicked. But the blessing of the Lord is on the house of the just. This, the end is coming. Christ, Christ is coming back. He's coming back to judge the wicked. He's coming back to receive a bride without spot or wrinkle, but any such blemish, but that she should be holy. Jesus is coming back for a holy bride, a beautiful spotless bride that has prepared herself for him. That's the true church. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall inherit the kingdom of God, but he that does the will of my Father in heaven. you got to do the will of God. You have to obey God, obey His Word. He will give you the Holy Spirit if you obey Him. That's what true faith does. True faith believes the Scriptures. True faith will lead you into the kingdom of God. But it says you have to believe to the saving of the soul. It says the just shall live by faith. But if anyone draws back, my soul has no pleasure in him. But we are not of those who draw back to perdition. But we are of those who believe to the saving of the soul. You have to believe to the saving of the soul. The devil doesn't want you to hear the truth. Because the truth is powerful. The truth of God's word. That the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. If you're not righteous through faith, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. You will burn with the homosexuals. You will burn with the porn watchers. You will burn with the ungodly and the unrighteous. So it's all funny games. The Bible says, though you join hand in hand, you shall not go unpunished. Though you join hand in hand, you shall not go unpunished. Judgment day is coming. Repent. For the kingdom of God has come near to you today. The kingdom of God turned to Christ and live before it's forever too late. God bless you. Receive the love and mercy of God while you still can. Time is running out. Time is running out. Jesus is coming back soon. you got to get ready to meet thy God. Prepare to meet thy God. Hypocrites will not inherit the kingdom of God. God bless you. God, give it to the people around Give me that. Oh, I'll stand right there. Yeah, I'll stand right there. Hold this.